Hi guys, I'm Akash Rock and welcome to Akash Biology. As per the comments and the feedbacks that I've got on my YouTube and the Facebook channels, so today's lectures will be focused on the epithelial tissue and before epithelial tissue, we'll be dealing about the animal tissues in common. So taking no more time going on to the topic. So what is animal tissue? So animal tissue is a group of cells. What? Group of cells that may be similar or not similar in structures, a structures form or embryonic functions, but they all have got what? Same coordinated functions. So group of cells that is coordinated to form a common function. What? Common functions. So this is tissue. Simple definition of tissue. Group of cells having common functions. Now as we are preparing for the entrance examinations, so we have to know what is simple tissue and what is what compound tissue. So simple means as the name suggests, everything must be simple. And compound means is a complex form. So a group of cells in both, but here what similar in a structure form and embryonic origin what embryonic origin but here different in a structure form and embryonic origin but both have got what a common functions so simple tissue means a group of cells having that is similar a structure form and embryonic origins and that are coordinated to form a common functions whereas the compound tissue means a group of cells that is different in a structures and form an embryonic origin but they are coordinated to form a common functions now moving on to the some of the scientists who give a lot more contribution to the study of tissues so which scientist coined the term tissues? The term tissue was coined by Francis Xavier Bischak. So he coined the term tissues. Now the study of tissue is known as what? Histology. What? Histology. The scientific study of tissues. So the term tissue was coined by what? Mayer. A scientist named Mayer and the father of whereas the father of histology is Marcelo not a Brazilian player Marcelo Malfi so these are the various scientists who contributed to the tissue so the term coined by Francis Xavier Bischer histology means the scientific study of tissues the term coined by Mayer and the father is the Marcelo Malfi now there are many four types of tissues in gross. So what are those tissues? First of all, epithelia. So epithelial tissues are those tissues which lines the internal and the external body of an organism. Second one is connective tissue. Name suggest. So it connects and supports and binds the tissues. Third one is muscular. That is contractile in nature and helps in locomotions. And fourth one is the nervous tissue. That is excitable tissue for the transmission of nerve impulse. In today's lectures, we will be dealing with what? Epithelial tissue. What? Epithelial tissue. So, a lot more things that we have to know about epithelial tissue. So, it was the first tissue to be evolved. Tissue to be evolved in the process of evolutions. Second one, Ruiz named scientist or biologist coined the term epithelial tissue. Similarly, it can originate from any germ layer. Any germ layer means it can layer. So it may be it can be originated either from the ectoderm, mesoderm or endoderm. So any of the system. Now coming on to the what is the structure. So as we have already told epithelial tissue mainly what lines the body organs, externals or internals. 
So the cells are what? Compactly arranged. What? Compactly arranged like this. So this is a cells having a central nucleus. So we can see over here the cells are tightly attached so there is no intercellular space. So in between the cells there is no space. So no intercellular space. So the no intercellular space is present in between the what? Epithelial tissue and they all lie on a common basement membrane. What? All cells lie on the basement membrane. All cells lie on basement membrane. So it maintains what? Polarity. It maintains polarity. So it maintains polarity means it lies on the basement membrane. And the cells are compactly arranged. So how the cells will communicate? So they so both the cells are attached by a small amount of carbohydrate in between them. A small amount of carbohydrate in between them. Or there is a presence of gap junctions. So as the cells are attached to each other and and it so how it gets this nutrition? So it gets its nutrition via diffusion process. What? Diffusion process. In between the intercellular species there are lymph vessels. What? Lymph vessels. So it will take via diffusion. What? Diffusion. So what is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of solvent molecules from the region of higher concentration to lower concentrations. So as it is taking the its nutrition by the process of diffusion, so they do not have what blood vessels. So epithelial cells have no intercellular space and no blood supply. What? No blood supply blood supply we have to remember these things <clears throat> so the cell may be single layer or it may be multiple layer what multiple layer but the lowest layer of cells will always rest on the basement membrane and basement membrane non cellular type and it has got the collagen fibers but collagen fibers now coming on to the epithelial cells so it has again got the two types simple and compound what Simple and compound. Simple and compound. So as the name suggests, simple means simple. So there is only single layer of cell. What? Single layer of cells. In compound, there are multiple layer of cells. So first of all, we will be dealing about with what? Simple. So there are various types of cells. So in simple, the cells are sim single layer. So all cell will lie on what? Basement membrane. Every cell will lie on the basement membrane like this. As they are thin layer, single layer is thin layer. So they are present in the area with the less wear and tear. What? Less wear and tear. Because if it, is, it present in the area of high friction, so wear and tear, it may breach. What? It may the basement membrane will rupture out. So it has got the various types. First of all, it has got the squamous. What? Squamous. So it has named the simple squamous epithelium. So what is the term mean squamous? So it consists of polyhedral cells. What? Polyhedral cells with the central bulge. What? Central bulge of the nucleus. And it is arranged like the mosaic tiles on the floor. What? Mosaic tiles on the floor. Like as this. It lines many our skin organs. So we, if we see very <coughs> very focused detail, we can see it are arranged like this. So cells are arranged like what? Mosaic tiles of the floor. So often known as pavement epithelium. What? Pavement epithelium. Pavement epithelium. And it is mainly present in the area where the diffusion occurs. What? Diffusion so called. So it present in what? Renal. Corpuscle means in the glomerular capillaries. So this is glomerulus, this is Bowman's capsule. So it present over like this. Renal corpuscles. Second one is present in the alveoli of lungs, where the diffusion of materials between the blood and the air takes place. And the third one, the place where it takes place is the so in the capillaries. What? Capillary wall. What capillary wall? So it is also known as what? Endothelium. What? Endothelium means the capillary wall. 
and it also lines the body organs what body organs no body peritoneal organs and visceral organs where it is where it is known as mesothelium what mesothelium so simple as found epithelium present in renal corpuscle alveoli endothelium and mesothelium second one is the columnar what no, first of before going on to colon, we will focus on cuboidal. So, cuboidal is the transition between the simple squamous and the simple columnar. The cells are arranged like this, what? And the in surface we can see what? Polygonal types of cells, what? Polygonal types of cells, like this. So, these are what? Cuboidal epithelium. And where it is present? It is mainly of two, three types. So, first of all, when it has got the cilia means ciliated cuboidal what ciliated cuboidal so where it is present it many lines the what central canal of a spinal cord what central canal of a spinal cord means in the ependymal cells and second similarly some parts of nephron what some parts of nephron. This is a ciliated cuboidal. Then after that there is, there is another one that is pigmented epithelium. Where? What? Pigmented cuboidal. Means the pigment must be present. Melanin pigment, pigment is present in that epithelium. So it is mainly present in what? Choroid of eye. What? Choroid of eye. Choroid choroid and some part of retina what some part of retina and third one is the what brush border cuboidal what brush border so like as the brush so like this so it is present in what pct what proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron and fourth one is the germinal cuboidal what Germinal cuboidal. The name suggests germinal cuboidal means it is present in the germ cells. So where in the germ cells? Seminiferous tubules of testis and the cortex of ovary. What? Seminiferous tubules of testis of testis and cortex of ovary. What? Cortex of ovary. And now coming on to the what? Columnar epithelium. What? Columnar epithelium. So columnar means the cells are elongated. What? Elongated. So there is a basal nuclei. What? Basal nucleoli. It has again got three types. What? Three types. First of all the ciliated. What? Ciliated. So columnar epithelians are mainly present in the organs what where there is more secretions. What? More secretions. So ciliated columnar. So in the nose there is also cilia. So it is mainly present in where? Uh, no cilia. It also present fallopian tube. There is cilia. What? Cilia. In the nose there is pseudostratified. I will deal with it. But the ciliated columnar. So what say this is the uterus. In the uterus what? This is the fallopian tube, this is the ovary. So when the ovum is released over here, so it has to go over here for the implantations. So the seeping like seeping like action, that is the sweeping actions of the ovum towards the uterus is due to what? Ciliated columnar cells. What? Ciliated columnar cells. So it is present in where? Fallopian tube. What? Fallopian tube. That is also known as the oviduct. What? Oviduct. And this another form is what? Brush border. What? Brush border. Means it is present in the stride. So it is present like this. So brush like border. It has to means that it has to secrete something. Similarly, it has to absorb. So absorption of food mainly occurs in what? Intestine. So it, the bross border form is mainly present in the intestinal mucosa and the, they also, it is also present in the stomach. What? Stomach. For the secretions of the gastric juice. Third one is the sensory columnar. What? Sensory columnar. Name suggests it has to be present 
it has to be present what in the area where the sensation happens so it is present in the taste buds what it is present in the taste buds in the sensory places and then coming on to what pseudo stratified what pseudo stratified means stratified means layer pseudo means false so it seems like the cells are present at the pile of presenting layer but actually it is not because pseudo means false like a pseudo means false food so what happens so this is the basement membrane as it is a type of simple epithelium so it has to be present all the cells has to be present in the basement membrane so like this some cells are present like this some cell like this so means so here is a our figure. So the nucleus are present at what? Various layers. Various layers. So it assumes that when we observe through light microscope, so how we count the cell layer through the position of nucleus. So the nucleus are present in the various layers, but actually if we see through electron microscope, so what the cells are present in? Same layer. Only the position of nucleus are different. So where it is present? It is also known as the pseudo stratified epithelium. If it is columnar, so it must be present in the respiratory tract. What? Pseudo stratified columnar. Then it is present in what? Respiratory tract means nose, trachea, and all over the larynx and all the respiratory. So it is often known as respiratory epithelium. What? Respiratory epithelium. So if you want to remember, columnar will always perform the formation of secretions. So in our nose there is secretions of the mucus via Bowman's gland. So there is a columnar. Why stratified? We always are living in a very much polluted. So if there is a single layer of cell, then what happens? There is dislodging of epithelium takes place. So the epithelium with evolution of time try to what? Makes double layer. But it fails to do so. So what? Pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Keyboard is many present in the body viscera and then squamous is mainly present in the area where there is more wear and tear. So this video is about the simple epithelium, simple epithelial tissues. In my next video, I will be dealing about compound epithelial tissue, transitions and lot more. If this video is helpful to you, then please like and for more videos, tap the subscribe buttons. Stay tuned and connected with Akash Biology. Thank you.